What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Now, in today's video, you dig what I'm saying? Unfortunately, my intro got deleted. This video is like two weeks old and it's actually been stretched out between those two weeks. So the clip that you guys are about to see is from two weeks ago and then the end part of the video is from like two or three days ago, you know what I'm saying? But basically, in today's video, you see the title, you see the thumbnail. We are installing the second compressor, switching over to a dual compressor setup for Mamba. Um, as you guys know, the car is bagged on airlift three-piece suspension. Um, at first, I had a single compressor setup, but and I ran that for like a year, but I just felt like, you know what I'm saying, it would be better to go ahead and run dual compressors. That way, I don't have to worry about like a worn compressor or anything like that. It's taking forever to fill up the tank and, and or blowing up, you get what I'm saying? So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and install the second compressor on Mamba. Um, we hit some rocks in the road, but got everything together. So I'm super stoked about that. If you guys haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Instagram is J.I. Productions underscore and TikTok is just J.I. Productions. Make sure you guys go tap in and enjoy the video. So don't mind the compressor right now. But basically, I'm going to show you how I got the two holes drawn up. I'm about to go ahead and drill them. And then I'm going to put the compressor right there. And I'm going to see if it works out. All right, y'all. Quick update. Got the holes drilled. I'm going to go ahead and replicate them through the little sound deadening that I got going and I'll put the compressor, mount the compressor and then we're gonna run the wires. All right, y'all, so quick update. Got the second compressor now mounted. They're both mounted now. Um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull out the wiring harness and get that set up. Now, the only thing that we'll be missing to get this to turn it on is the airline. And I'm gonna have to go ahead and get the airline a little bit later on today, but we will be good to go to go ahead and start using both compressors by the end of this video. So I'm super stoked about that. All right, y'all, so we're at a good stopping point now. We went ahead and put the fitting on the uh, line from the compressor, so that's ready. Like I was saying, y'all, gonna go ahead and get some air line from O'Reilly's um, and clean up the wires a little bit, and then we should be good to go ahead and run um, the compressor. Um, so yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera on whenever I get the airline and we go ahead and get that right connected to there. The next day. All right, y'all, so update. You did what I'm saying on the trunk setup. It's been a couple of days now. I'm actually picking up this vlog on my phone. The camera's at the crib, but I wanted to give you guys an update on the trunk setup, so let's get straight into it. All right, so I finally have the second compressor installed, wired in, got the extra airline and everything right um but i'm running into a couple issues i know it's a mess i'm gonna clean it up later i just was rushing to get everything connected um to see if it worked now i'm running into a couple issues so issue number one um i'm gonna go ahead and put it on the screen and what you guys um what i'm seeing in the app um as far as the compressors go y'all let me know for all my bag guys is both compressors supposed to be enabled or is one of them supposed to say on off as mine does I just want to know. Um, secondly, I got to go ahead and reconnect this ground wire for the second compressor. That way it cut on. Um, and we can go ahead and check and see if they're running together at the same time or not. Because honestly, I don't think they are. Alright, update y'all. Finally, got that wire connected. Unfortunately, my little connector joint like this one is all kinds of fraud this is a new one unfortunately it's too small so it won't fit um but got it connected for to go ahead and turn on the car and see if it cuts on and then i'll show you guys how i ran the wires um the airline for the tank because this is not the compressor feed and this is also a compressor feed um this is the you know what i'm saying the pressure release valve and then i ended up this is the water trap i ended up taking the emergency field port out and putting the water trap uh, line right here um, and I'll show you guys how I ran all the wires the airline and whatnot Terrible YouTuber, and I didn't record. But basically, 
finally got the compressors mounted. Everything's working. You know what I'm saying? They are filling up the tank fast as hell. Go ahead and drop it back down. Oh, it's a manual mode right now. I think it's the freaking. There we go. Drop that joint down, man. Finally. Now the leak, as you guys just saw, it just dropped down to 70. One, it's fluctuating, it's gonna drop down to 71. I don't know where the hell that leak is coming from. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep tackling it, keep trying to find it, but until I find that joint, man, that's actually gonna do it for this video. Got my boy back to the money pulling up right now, as you guys can see. But um, that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on the post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.